Holy cow, take a look at these guys. Whew. I tell you, they are looking absolutely amazing. Again, the bassless are getting really big. Gonna move them up here pretty soon. Today is gonna be a crazy day, and good morning, everybody. Welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is crazy good. Uh, like I said, it's gonna be a crazy day because we have to get going on that podcast room. We have to hopefully paint the wall. Actually, I think Jay and Anthony are gonna do that while I do a whole bunch of other busy stuff. Then I have to rock wall that out, so I wanna get that done because we're gonna get carpet here pretty soon. We are in the final stages. We gotta still do the whole control. We have a lot of work today, and we're also checking on baby snakes, cutting some snake eggs, uh, doing snake work. I mean, it's gonna be a crazy day. It's gonna be a great day. So let's push our problems aside and have an amazing day together. What do you say we get started? I tell you, there are some snakes that just blow you away. And we've had our share of purplish snakes this year, right? Take a look at these. Woo doggy. I tell you what, again, we've had purple and kind of hues of purple, but these are lavender snow cow kings and are by far the purplest of all of those snakes that we've hatched this year. These things are truly purple. I mean, that is incredible. I mean, take a look at that snake right there. That doesn't even look real. I mean, if you saw that snake, you would probably think it was photoshopped, right? You'd be like, there's no way that a snake can be that color right there. But sure enough, it is that color and it is absolutely ridiculous. This again was lavender snow cow to lavender snow cow. So every single snake in here is a lavender snow. Now, sometimes they won't have the little pattern and that phantom patterning to them. These all do have the phantom patterning, but for whatever reason, when you breed lavender snow cow to lavender snow cow, it is a super lavender purple snakes and these guys are absolutely stunning. I mean, wow! I, I just couldn't get over. When I opened this box up, my eyes just popped out and said, oh my goodness, that is some incredible snake. So it's cool. We've had a really good lavender snow cow year, but these guys by far are the best ones we produce. I am so excited about them. Me and this Goomba got to uh, paint some trim in the new wall. We got to do brown around everything so that Brian can come in later, spray everything down. And then later on tonight, we're actually rocking the walls. So we gotta get this done. Should take us about 25, 30 minutes. So let's get started. We didn't actually spray this room. We actually decided just to roll it because we, by the time we got all the trim done, we were already like halfway done with the wall. So, Ant and I tackled it out. Brian was here for a little bit, but then he left us again. So now we're on our own. So we're gonna go grab the rock wall in just a second and we will start rocking these walls out. So uh, yeah, that's about it. Back at you with another clutch of eggs to cut here. This is actually, I think, the third or fourth of this combination because we produced some really cool ones. It's a pastel female bred to a pewter lesser. So remember those kind of real purpley looking snakes that we hatched out earlier this year? That's this clutch too. Last one of this one of the entire year. So hopefully, with any luck, the purple ones are super pastel, pewter lessers, right? So they're a super pastel, they're a cinnamon, and they're a lesser. There's really kind of lavender looking ones. So let's hope we hit the odds on this clutch and let's just jump into egg number one. Here we go. Gosh, I, I always get excited about it. And right off the rip, we got a pewter lesser. It's not the purple one, it's not the super pastel, but it is the pastel, it's the cinnamon, it's the lesser. So that is absolutely incredible. I love these guys. It's one of my favorite morphs, to be honest with you. Just the clean, kind of beautiful gray lines with them. Really cool. We still have, what, two, four, six, seven eggs to go. We gotta hit a purple one, right? Let's do it. And who knows, we might even need a couple of them. I'm gonna be real optimistic today. But right off the rip, we just had, it looks like maybe just a pastel. I don't even think it's a super pastel. It might be a super pastel, but it's either a pastel or a super pastel. Uh, let's keep moving on. And again, there could be lots of combinations in this, this breeding. 
but it looks like, looks like that. Yeah, absolutely. We hit it. We hit the purple lavendery snake for sure. That, oh gosh, every time I hit these, I love them. Again, this is the Super Pastel Cinnamon Lesser, and it's ridiculous. And we hit it on the third egg. We still have five eggs to go. So let's hit another one or hit some combinations thereof. Who knows? We can still produce so many cool animals. Let's do it. I am so happy we hit another one of those. Like I said, I think we've already hit four or five of them this year, and they are so beautiful. This happens to be, looks like a little cine, cine pastel. So it's this is what they would call a pewter. So it's a pastel and it's a cinnamon, just straight two gene animal, not bad, four eggs to go. I don't know, I hope you guys are gonna miss egg cutting when it's done. We don't have that many more clutches to cut. So it's gonna be, and again, another pewter lesser. So pastel, cine, and lesser. Uh, not that many more eggs to cut. Some of you guys are getting bored with it, I get it, but uh, I'm gonna miss it because it's been an amazing year. I mean, 160 clutches or whatever we've cut this year, been pretty insane. And we've got three eggs left in this clutch. One more of those all gene animals and the next three eggs would be awfully nice. But right off the rip, we got just another cine. This is a single gene animal, just a cine pastel. So uh, just a cine. They used to call them cine pastels. Now they just call them cines. Two eggs to go. And it's interesting how names kind of change over the years from one thing to another, you know, just kind of shorten and stuff like that. Got another pastel cine lesser. So that's three pastel cine lessers, or what they would call pewter lessers, in this clutch already. One egg to go. I would love to end this clutch on an all gene animal. Let's see what we can do. Here we go, what do we have? Uh, oh, another pewter lesser. Oh my gosh, that's cool. So we did only hit one of the all gene animals, but we hit four pewter lessers. That is really good odds. They're beautiful, love it. Can't, uh, I tell you what, I'm just so happy every time I cut a clutch of eggs. Maybe I wrap that corner. Yeah, just like kind of roll with the wrap, over it, you know, make it like yeah. smooth. Maybe I do that. Second coat of paint is all dry here, ready to go. So now we have the rocks down here, or actually the panels that look like rocks. So uh, that's the fun part, right? This is when it starts really looking like something, right? So it's an exciting thing. It's a lot of work because it's a pain in the butt to work with, but at the same time, it's gonna be amazing. You'll see we're kind of gonna put it all along the wall, cutting out the areas around the actual fixtures. Cause you gotta remember a TV is gonna be here, a monitor. So it's gonna cover that whole area. So we don't need rock behind the TV. So we'll cut around that. Uh, again, camera over here. We'll cut around that and we'll just work our way right along the walls all the way over here until all of these walls are rocked out. So we have our work cut out for us, but it should be pretty fun. one wall kind of done again you're not going to see much of this because there's going to be a tv monitor here a camera there so from uh you know again a distance you're not going to see it's going to look like a flat wall we'll actually uh fixture all of this stuff out you know patch it but Lori brought up a good point and until i started to install this i didn't think about it but how are we going to get our carpet guy to get in here because he needs to put a board a tack board along this back wall and we have all of this in the spot so uh so yeah, sometimes Lori is right and sometimes, well, most of the time Lori's right and I'm definitely wrong, so. But now I'm too far in. We're gonna go ahead, we've got the one wall done. We're gonna finish out this last two walls and, and when my carpet guy gets here, he's probably gonna hate me, but, uh, but that's gonna be okay. But there it is, there's the first kind of look of what the podcast room is gonna look like from the actual camera. So pretty excited about it, but we still have two more walls to go. Man, this looks awesome.
Terry, that's hard work. I gotta be honest with you, but we got three walls down now. Take that back. We've got the two walls down, one wall to go, just one short wall to go. And then, like I said, all these little areas you'll either not see because there'll be monitors or TVs, or we'll patch them in after the carpet is in. So basically with this room, once we finish this out, we've got a carpet, we have to put all the monitors, electrical, all that type of stuff up, and then move the table in. And this room is done, we're completely done. And then we're gonna start working on the control room. Obviously we're gonna get windows in tomorrow, we're gonna get doors in tomorrow. So uh, things are coming together pretty well. So uh, when this place is done, it's gonna look so good. Good. You guys remember when we're rocking stuff out in the beginning, it looks a little rough, but once you seam everything and get it all fixed up, it's looking really good. So uh, I couldn't be more happy with the way this is going to turn out. It's definitely going to be really a signature room, right? A podcast room that is like the Reptarium. I mean, I'm loving this. With Jessica, she has some good news for me. What do you got? Yeah, we got another little Deadpool baby. Well, it's, it's actually... It's not out yet, it's though. Not, it's not out. It's just pipped out. Yeah. But you can see it's starting to come out. I'm just going to play with it a little bit. It probably won't climb out. I don't want to force it out of the egg or anything like that. But it's pretty exciting. This is our second Deadpool baby of the year. And the, the other one's what, maybe three, four weeks old? Yeah, it hatched on 8.13. 8.13, so yeah, August. So yeah, it's a, getting up on a couple months almost. So they start to color up pretty good. I can't wait to see what this thing is looking cool. like. <laughs> oh yeah, look at how pretty it's looking. Yeah. Again, all of that brown is gonna turn nice and red. The Deadpool line from Tiki's Gecko is super yeah. red. Look at how contrast that one is though, huh? Yeah, so this one too, I think it's extra black on a lot of the right. areas. I think that'll all turn red. Turn the red, mom sorry. on this one, it has a nice red background. Oh my so gosh, she's, so it's good. Oh, really nice. So that is super cool. So uh, one Deadpool baby that's a couple months old, one Deadpool baby that isn't even hatched yet, that should be out of the egg any day. Uh, we'll keep you updated. Not for sale though. Everyone for keeps <laughs> asking back. These two are not going to be for sale. We do have some Dracula line babies that are for sale. Same bloodlines, just uh, different like parentage. Exactly. So if you want nice, beautiful red babies, we will have. But the Deadpool line we're going to hang on to for this year. And there it is, guys, the finished project. Well, not finished project, but again, all the rock walls are done now all the way around. Again, like I mentioned, there'll be monitors that are covering over here. When the place is done, it's gonna look really good. Right now, it's still kind of a disaster. I mean, there's no carpeting, there's stuff all over the place. We've gotta still trim out the windows. Uh, lots of work to do, but you're seeing some progress. I, again, I wanted the podcast to be so different than any other podcast you'd see, right? Like you're in a cave, you know? And uh, and that's why we did this. So and thanks for Universal Rock for helping us with this, obviously. Uh, great friends of ours that helped us with this. So, okay, that was a big job, a big job done. And uh, we are one step closer to finishing this project out. Like I said, I really think within the next six, seven days, we will be ready to podcast in here full time. So I could not be more excited. And uh, like I said, when it's completely finished, uh, it's going to look amazing. And I, I, I'm so happy about it. So uh, there it is. Big project getting close to finished. Wow, those purple snakes were ridiculous. And we've made so much progress on the podcast room. I am getting so excited to get back in there. Again, uh, you can check it out right up here in the corner. You can actually subscribe to that podcast channel called Checking In. If you like this video, here is some more building videos like you know building out the reptarium on this side you can subscribe to this vlog channel please turn your post notifications on have an absolutely wonderful day remember be kind to someone and i promise i'll see you tomorrow <laughs>